Paul Chapius Bragg was a nutritionist and a pioneer in America Euro unregistered trademark s wellness movement. Biography Born as Paul Chapius Bragg, Bragg claimed he was born in 1881 in Fairfax County, Virginia, but genealogical research indicates he was born on February 6, 1895 in Battesville, Indiana, where his father was editor printer of the Battesville Democratic Herald newspaper. Bragg was probably named after his father's younger brother, Paul L. Bragg. Bragg grew up in Washington, D.C. With his parents, Robert Elton Bragg, who had procured a U.S. civil service position there, and Caroline Bragg. He had two brothers, James Elton and John Harrison Bragg. His father was employed by the U.S. Printing Office however, in the 1972 edition of the Bragg Apple Cider Vinegar System booklet, at page 12, and in later editions, Bragg claimed both that his father was a splendid farmer, and that I am the oldest of sixteen children. At some point, Bragg enlisted with the Washington, D.C. National Guard for three years, as is shown on his 1917 draft registration, which he filed with the Indianapolis, Indiana Draft Board that year. Although Paul Bragg had claimed participation in both the 1908 and 1912 Olympics as a member of the U.S. wrestling team, the Encyclopedia of American Wrestling does not show any such person as a member in either year. In 1915 Bragg married Neva Parnin at the Chapel of St. Barnabas in New York City. They moved to Indianapolis, where Bragg became an agent with a Metropolitan Life Insurance Company. Several years later, Bragg returned to the East Coast and was employed by various YMCAs and school districts in physical or athletic director capacities, his last known position before moving to California being football coach for the 1920 season at Connorsville High School, Connorsville, PA. In 1921 Bragg and his family, now also including two young daughters, Nava Pauline Polly and Lorraine Agnes Bragg, came to California, where Paul was again employed by the YMCA. Son, Robert Elton, was born in Los Angeles County on March 25, 1922. It is unknown how long Bragg stayed with the Los Angeles Y, but in 1922 he was in charge of the Physical Education Department at San Luis Obispo, CA High School, and in 1924 he was a physical education teacher at Redondo Union High School, Redondo Beach, California. Calling all grads of class of 1,924 inches, Van News Valley News, March 31, 1974. Circa 1926, Paul Bragg apparently left paid employment and became an entrepreneur in the health field, first by opening an establishment on N 7th Street, Los Angeles, called Health Center of Los Angeles, and then, in 1928, Bragg Health Center on South Hill Street, Los Angeles. Likely to publicize these businesses, he also wrote a weekly health column in the Los Angeles Times from 1926 to 1928 which he sometimes called Nullets, and other times health notes. The health services that business endeavors offered are described in the advertorials and columns. In 1930 Bragg was sued in federal court San Francisco by St. Louis Estes, a Los Angeles area raw food health lecture manufacturer, see Estes Wikipedia page charging infringement of copyright in that A. 1929 publication of Bragg as a rearrangement of material in an earlier book on raw food written by Estes. It is currently unknown the outcome of this lawsuit. Equals lecturing equals, 1929 was the beginning of Paul Bragg's health lecture tours where he went to various American cities, rented a facility, advertised heavily, then gave a series of lectures a euro usually over a period of five or six consecutive evenings. His lectures were free, but he did charge a fee for post-lecture private consultation. 1929 was also the copyright year of the first health book attributed to Paul Bragg as author, Cure Yourself. Since bookstores or book departments and retail stores in that era were usually only accessible in the more highly populated areas, Another purpose of Bragg's lecture tours was most likely to promote and sell his books. Equals divorce equals, during the Bragg's first decade in California, Paul and Nava Bragg divorced, and in the 1930 U.S. Census, Nava and her new husband, August Bush, were shown living with the three Bragg children in Los Angeles, C.A. The Florida Marriage Index documents the marriage of Paul C. Bragg, 
and Betty Brownlee on February 17, 1930 in Clearwater, Pinellas County, Florida. On their application for marriage, Miss Brownlee gave her occupation as advance manager for the Bragg Lectures, and Bragg stated his age as 49, his residence as 1109 North Hudson, Hollywood, Cal, and his birthplace as Pinkle, Virginia on the same form. However, the following year, Gertrude Elizabeth Bragg filed for divorce against Paul C. Bragg in Los Angeles County Superior Court, which divorce decree was granted in January 1932. There is currently no indication that Paul Bragg ever remarried. There is no record of Paul Bragg being counted in the 1930 U.S. Census, although Burbank, California city directories of the time reflect his residence in that city from 1935 to 1954 and that his food manufacturing company, Live Food Products, Inc., was also located there during that period. Subsequently he relocated to Desert Hot Springs, California, and later in the 1960s, at least part-time, to Hawaii. Equals death equals, Bragg was reported to have died of a heart attack in the emergency room of South Shore Hospital in Miami, Florida on December 7, 1976. He was undergoing treatment after suffering serious injuries from a surfing accident in late November, and suffered pneumonia and stroke while going in hospital. He was cremated with full state honors. Education Although Bragg claimed advanced scientific degrees in newspaper and magazine interviews a euro including, but not limited to, his 1975 People article a euro it is unknown if these claims are accurate. The most recently released 1940 federal census, showing him living on National Avenue in Burbank, California, gives his age as 45, and the highest attained academic grade for him is age 1, which would be only one year of high school. On October 8, 1914, Washington, D.C.'s Evening Star newspaper reported that Paul C. Bragg was appointed to the student staff of the balance sheet, a newly planned newspaper of that city's business high school as its athletic editor. Currently, no books authored by Bragg refer to any specific educational accomplishments, but a 1977 publication he co-authored with Patricia Bragg, titled The Shocking Truth About Water, appends the titles of N.D. and Ph.D. Behind his name. Legacy, Bragg advocated using deep breathing, water fasts, organic foods, drinking distilled water, juicing, exercise listening to one's body, and many other techniques as methods of prolonging lifespan. Until he died at a believed age of 95, but as we read above, at a much more likely legal age of 81, Paul stated that every human being could, at least in theory, live to 120 by following his regimens. Patricia Bragg, Paul's former daughter-in-law, according to official records, has since taken over Bragg's health empire having previously married Bragg's son, Robert Elton Bragg. She has stated that she was legally adopted by Paul. Bragg was the inspiration and personal health and fitness advisor to top Olympic stars from three-time swimming gold medalist Murray Rose to four-time track gold medalist Betty Cuthbert of Australia, his relative Don Bragg, and others. Jack Lalan, the original TV fitness king said that Bragg saved my life at age 15 when I attended the Bragg Crusade in Oakland, California. Paul Bragg also wrote many successful books, such as The Miracle of Fasting and Live Food Cookbook and Menus. References External links, Bragg.com, Paul and Patricia Bragg's website, People Magazine, 1975 article about Paul Bragg.